Okay, so what do Oprah, Tony Robbins, Bill Gates, Barack Obama, Mark Zuckerberg, and a whole host of other successful people, what do these people all have in common? All these people and more understand that there's a certain mindset that corresponds to every goal that you could possibly have. If you want to be successful in something, there's a certain mindset that corresponds to that goal. So every person you see that has built the body of their dreams, they built the body they, they always wanted to have, they think a certain way. Anyone who's built a successful business, they think in a certain way that other people don't think. Okay? And what they've come to understand is that the biggest, the single biggest obstacle that you can ever have is simply your own disbelief, your own lack of belief that you can actually make this happen. Now, if that's true, if our, if our biggest obstacle is actually ourselves, then I'm going to give you a tip, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to give you a tip today that uh, all these people I just mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, they've all used. It's like a little mental formula. It's only eight words long, and it will transform the way you think about achieving a goal, and it'll transform every single action that you take from that. Okay, so are you ready? Here is the magic formula. Act as though it were impossible to feel. Impossible. It's absolutely impossible for you to feel. Okay? So imagine that I am the gold magician and I have a magic wand. You come to me and you say, <clears throat> Mark, I want to start this business. I want it to be successful. But, you know, I, I'm fearful it might not work out, whatever. So I wave my magic wand and I say, that's it. Your success in this business venture is absolutely guaranteed. You're guaranteed to succeed if you take all the actions that you got to take. So now you know that the end, the result is already established, right? You know it's set in stone. You're guaranteed to succeed if you take all the action steps. Now, what action steps are you willing to take because you know that you're going to succeed? Where's your enthusiasm levels now that you know that you're going to succeed? Uh, where's, your, where's your level of drive, your ambition, your passion? Now that you know you're going to succeed. It's, ex it's totally, totally different. Everything's different. Even the ideas you get uh, and the ideas that you're willing to act upon are all completely different now that you know that the, the outcome is established and you're going to succeed. Okay? So I said I would prove it. So th here's the... A little uh, thought experiment to prove that this actually works and it totally changes everything. I want you to think of something that you would like to have happen. Okay, we're going to do this in real time. You do this with me, okay? Think of something, a goal that you would like to have happen. It could be your body. It could be your body looking a certain way that you really want. It could be a business thing. It could be a relationship. Uh, whatever it is. Anything. And I want you to close your eyes, think about this goal, and merely hope that it uh, that you're successful. Just hope. Have this hope that it works out, that things uh, go as you would like them to. Just hope, that's it. And what sort of thoughts do you get? Where's your enthusiasm? Where's your passion? Where's your level of certainty that this is going to happen? Probably not that big right it's not that great you're not feeling over enthusiastic or very confident about achieving this goal okay now let's contrast that with with this close your eyes think about the goal and absolutely know for certain that this thing's going to happen as if it was absolutely guaranteed just play a game just pretend that this thing was absolutely guaranteed to work and think about Where's your passion now? Where's your confidence now that you know that you're going to do this? It's going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. All you got to do is just take the steps to get there. Where's your motivation? Where's your passion? Where's your willingness to take action? Okay, sky high probably because you know you're going to do it. You know for certain I'm going to do this thing. It's going to happen. It's going to work. You're going to act completely differently. You're going to think completely differently. You're going to be a whole different animal, a whole different creature now that you know, you absolutely know 
that uh, this is going to happen. And it all comes from these eight words. Act as though it were impossible to fail. All successful people, the people I quoted at the, at the beginning of this podcast, everyone knows this. They've all quoted this quote. It's, a, it's a quite a famous quote. Anyone who's into self-improvement, personal development knows this. Act as though it were impossible to fail. And you know, I actually used this whenever I started this whole muscle hack project. I never let myself entertain the idea that it wasn't going to be successful. I was very careful about that. Even when it comes to uh, you know, transforming my own body. I didn't allow myself to get into the um, thoughts of like, I'm not going to succeed because I understand that energy flows where attention goes, wherever I put my, whatever I put my attention on, I begin to like subconsciously go there because the, the, at the top of the hierarchy, there's your mindset, then there's your thoughts, then there's your speech and then there's your actions. But everything then stems, the root cause is that mindset you got to be careful about what you put your focus and attention on because that's where your energy is going to go. You should spend the vast majority of your time with the positive mindset of focusing on what you want to have happen in your life, not what you don't want to have happen. Focus and putting your attention, your focus on uh, what you don't want to have happen is worry. And I've heard worry being called praying. Worry is praying for uh, what you don't want. But if you put va- the vast majority of your attention on focusing on what you do want to create in your life, you'll start to go there. You'll start to get the ideas and the passion and the motivation in order to make that happen. So be very, very careful about where you put your attention and where you put your focus. Okay, so again... Act as though it were impossible to fail. So when you set out on a goal, there's going to be times when it, there's, there's an unforeseen circumstance. Something doesn't work out the way you wanted it to. There's a, a problem comes along. When that happens, and it's inevitable, it will happen. When it happens, repeat those words. What would I do if I knew that I couldn't fail? If it were impossible for me to fail, to reach my goal, which way would I look at this situation? It's a totally different mindset from the guy who uh, hits an obstacle and says, oh, this wasn't supposed to happen. I got, I got, I got to quit. I got to get out. This is not going to work. It's too problematic. It's too hard. It's too difficult. No, you got to ask yourself, what would I do if I knew that I was guaranteed to succeed? How would I approach this? It's completely different. And you might even find that there's an opportunity in what you think is a problem. Okay, guys, I hope that this helped. Please, please go to the the site if you're listening to this on iTunes or YouTube or something because there are show notes for this. I summarized this podcast on the Muscle Hack site. I want you to see the show notes, which is going to be located at musclehack.com forward slash podcast hyphen 007. So that's musclehack.com forward slash podcast hyphen 007. And as always, my friends, wait, I'm not finished. (laughs) I want to encourage you one more time. Act as though it were impossible to fail. Act as though it were impossible for you not to succeed. Take this approach to your training, your next gym session. I almost finished this podcast. I almost said train with intensity, which is what I always say at the end. But before I tell you to train with intensity, I want to tell you, to train with a mindset where you're absolutely guaranteed to succeed. Whatever you want your body to look like, you're going to do it. It's going to happen. Okay? Have that confidence and train with intensity. 